be it the transportation of NASA's spacecraft, or there is a need to carry the biggest oil rig from one place to another. There have been many transport operations in history which seemed impossible. But today you will see the transportation of a thing that is not transported every day. We are talking about a four-story hotel, with 86 rooms. Why it became imperative to transport this giant hotel. How this hotel with thousands of kilogram of weight was separated from its foundation. And how it was shifted from one place to another. Once again welcome to our videos. Viewers, in the city of San Jose, California this hotel was built by Thomas. S. Montgomery in 1911. Few years prior to the construction of the hotel, first railway station started in San Jose. Which contributed to the increasing population. Obviously, businessmen never wanted to miss the opportunity, where the hustle and bustle increases. And T.S. Montgomery did exactly that. He purchased a plot of land and built a lavish hotel and restaurant which was named Hotel Montgomery. It used to be the most luxurious hotel in its era, which was built with the latest technology of that time i.e. concrete and steel. All those facilities that are present in every household today were first introduced in the Montgomery Hotel. Like blower fans, private bathtub, private telephone line for every room and elevator at each floor for easy access. Not only this, Montgomery's management provided free bus service for picking and dropping customers to from railway station to the hotel. You can consider it as a five-star hotel of that period, and that's why it was so famous. So famous that it became the identity of San Jose City. With every passing year this hotel became more successful. The next 50 years, i.e. from 1920 to 1960 is considered the golden period for this hotel. But the downfall of the Montgomery started. After 1960s due to the increasing population, many new hotels were constructed. And in comparison to these new hotels construction of Montgomery looked pretty old-fashioned. The competition between hotels and restaurants were so tough that the survival of Montgomery looked impossible because customers preferred new hotels instead of old Montgomery. And this was the time when management of Montgomery decided to finally close the hotel. This competition reached to a point where there was no space left for building new hotels in downtown San Jose after 80s and 90s. On the other hand, there was no drop in the number of visitors. In the 90s, on one hand, Hotel Montgomery looks like a deserted palace on the other hand the other five-star modern hotels were brimming with customers. Next to Montgomery was the Hotel Fairmount, which had 535 rooms. Despite having so many rooms, this hotel used to remain overbooked most of the time. And this was the reason they needed to expand their hotel. And unfortunately they didn't have the extra space to expand. The only option was to buy the Montgomery Hotel and demolish it, and then construct a new building here. And with this plan Fairmount would add another 400 rooms. Therefore they purchased the Montgomery Hotel in 1999 and started preparing for its demolition. As soon as the news spread people came out on streets to protest against Montgomery's demolition. People believed that despite old, Montgomery is the identity of San Jose. And people who destroys their past, their future cannot be bright. During this time mayoral election was about to take place and it was an opportunity to become popular. Ron Gonzalez was a candidate in this election. In his election campaign he promised to the San Jose community. That is, if he became mayor he will never let Montgomery get demolished. Ron Gonzalez won the election and became the mayor of San Jose and now it was his time to keep his promise. On one hand Fairmount Hotel wanted to expand and on the other, it was very important to preserve this historical building. Mayor consulted a lot of people but there was no effective solution. But then a team of architects give their opinion to shift Montgomery from here, without any damage. At first, the idea seemed like a joke because not every day you see buildings being moved. 
But the mayor loved the idea and he allotted a budget of $12.5 million to accomplish this purpose. And formed a team of experts. According to an estimate the weight of the building is more than 4,500 tons. I.e. this weight is equal to the weight of 25 Boeing 747 aircraft or 750 African elephants. Lifting this much weight was a different matter but separating the building from its foundation and taking it somewhere else was a kind of task which was being done for the first time in history. There was another issue and it was the location to where the building will be placed. San Jose Redevelopment Agency which is also a government agency they had an empty plot and fortunately, it was only 180 feet away from the Hotel Montgomery. Now it was decided that Montgomery had to be shifted 180 feet away but the challenge was to keep the building and its interior safe. In the year 2000, the work started on this seemingly impossible task. First of all, the fancy false ceiling was carefully and meticulously removed and preserved. The historic mosaic tiles, which had the name Montgomery written on it, they were cut into squares to protect them from any damage. Along with that, all the woodwork of that era were preserved in their original state. When the work was completed preserving the antiques now it was time to research on the building structure. In this research the health of the beams and columns were checked and accurate measurements were taken and underground gas pipelines were carefully removed. After the completion of all the research work experts had to face a challenge which was perhaps the first challenge of its kind. Normally to construct a building, first, the foundation is constructed and then the entire structure is built over it. But in this case the structure was already there whereas only the foundation needed to be constructed. The challenge was to make the foundation, in accordance with the columns of the building. Even a millimeter of difference in the foundation, could result in a disaster. Therefore after taking the accurate size, a special foundation was built in the new location. Montgomery Hotel is going to be the first building from the history which was practically being moved to a new location. The preservation work and research work were all completed, and foundation was also ready. And now everyone was waiting for that moment. To carry 4,500 ton structure, eight special computerized jacks were brought which had wheels beneath them. These jacks were fitted below the building's ground floor. And then 80% of the load of the building was transferred upon these jacks. When the jacks were successful in carrying the maximum load then one by one all the pillars of the structure were cut off. And at this point 100% load of the building was upon the jacks. That means the building was ready to be moved. Half the town was present there to witness this event. And the rest was watching the event through television. Now it was time to carefully carry the building that is stationed over the jacks. After 15 minutes, the building reached its new location safely. And the entire town was celebrating this success. For the next two years the renovation work of Hotel Montgomery continued, and then finally in 2002 it was relaunched. It costed in total $26 million for its renovation and transport. Even today Hotel Montgomery is still operational by the name Four Points Hotel in San Jose. It is being managed by the world's best hotel management Marriott International. I hope you will like and share this video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.